Hey y'all and welcome to the Max Life. So we are headed out going shopping for the hurricane victims. Now my family personally has pledged $2,000 to this. Y'all heard me talk about that on the last video that you guys seen. I've already had some people donate which has filled up one side of the car. And, and we have what, there's still this, stuff here. yes, there's stuff up here, and we have some cash that was handed to us this morning as well, which is going to be spent on the <coughs> items needed to go to people. Now, all of the big kids are actually going with me today. They are going to be my buggy pushers and my calculator workers, and we're going to make sure we get the full amount in for these people. And this is a wonderful opportunity for them as well to um, be able to actually serve other people. So the big kids are going with me when we get back. I really would like to put labels on all of the things with the Bible verse, which is probably going to prove to be a lot of work. But we have all kinds of items already, which is toilet paper, paper towels, water, all of this is toilet paper and paper towels. There's cat food, um, women's hygiene, cleaning supplies, uh, baby wipes. We already have several packs of diapers. Here's some cat food. Um, so we already have a lot. Aiden, can you come take this other seat out? Can I take what now? This seat right here. Just go ahead and take this other seat out. And then we are going to, you guys know that I don't actually love going to Walmart, but in our area, it is literally the only store that we can go in and get this amount of supplies that is close to us. The only other place would be more than an hour away. So my delivery is scheduled to go to be delivered tomorrow at two o'clock. So we are after lunch on a Sunday. We're gonna load up and go get some buggies full of stuff. And tomorrow it's gonna go to the place it's supposed to go. Now they are supposed to be pulling out. They had originally said Tuesday, but I think they're trying to bump that up until tomorrow afternoon. Um, they're wanting to cut off the supplies at three, get everything in the buses and pull out Monday afternoon because the sooner that they can get the supplies there, the better it's gonna be for the people. Y'all ready? We have literally a train of four buggies. It's beginning to get a little overwhelming, We're but we have literally been adding as we have gone. Where are we at, Annabelle? Um, 1,608. So 1,600. We still have $400 to go, y'all. And we have four buggies full of stuff. We have literally been walking around in circles trying to figure out if we had lost everything, what are some priority things that we would need. So that's what we've got in here. Everything from babies, newborn socks, all the way up to just any and everything that you can think of. So that's what we're doing now. We're trying to finish up this last little bit. Checking out is going to be... It's going to be a long time. <laughs> it's going to take a long time. Duh. Okay. And I can be like, oh, I have to stop. Here, we can put stuff in the basket. Where is Sayla? In the middle of all of the stuff. Did we get a lot? Yes. What do you think, Eliza? Too much. Do you think it's going to go to good, though? Yes. Yes. I wanted to flip the camera around y'all my van is not gonna hold all of the stuff I showed y'all clips of Walmart of things of buggies that we had loaded up yes Walmart is not my favorite place to shop but it is the only store in my area that is big enough for us to go in and get this kind of haul we live in a little small area and a little small community and we just don't have a lot to pick from so that was my only option y'all don't throw stones about good things at Walmart for people that are in need. So don't start throwing stones at me for shopping at Walmart because it's my only option. 
so you see that I already have some things in the front. Y'all, my seats are loaded completely down. I had more people bring items this morning. More people bringing items this morning. Water's here. I actually have two more people on their way. We have different things like uh, matches. Uh, extension cords propane tanks things like that now I cannot get anything else in my van so we have a company vehicle that we are going to get to the house in just a little while that vehicle is going to be the seats have been removed out of the back of it as well I wish I would have started doing that in mine before I started putting stuff in here but we have already taken those seats out. We are going to start loading that vehicle up. And then I have one more car. You guys have heard me talk about Aiden's sweet friend, Annabelle. Her mom is going to be coming with us as well. And she's got a car full of stuff too. And here's the change of plans that I wanted to tell y'all about. So initially we had gotten into contact with somebody that lives about 30 minutes south of me. They uh, have a relationship with a some type of bus uh, busing company and these guys were in direct contact with some of the military bases that had been set up in North Carolina. So that's where all of our items were supposed to be going. This morning I just happened to click on Facebook to make sure I didn't have any notifications because I try to do that from time to time to see if people have left me comments or messages or whatever. And the first thing that popped up was our Baptist Association which is right here um, in our town where we're at and it was um, saying that there's going to be a group of men from our area going to be taking trailers over to one of our association buildings and they are leaving in two days and these men uh, the man over association I actually know personally I have gone on mission trips with him before to Canada and to Maryland um, I was really good friends with uh, two of his children we grew up together I've spent many many nights at this man's house and I would trust this man with my kids life so that should speak very highly of this this gentleman so brother david is um he has a direct contact with the church he has known uh a, a gentleman up there who actually come down when we dealt with katrina many years ago he established a relationship with this man and they had been conversating back and forth um especially some Service has been a big thing, but once they got service back, they've been able to connect and some needs have been shared. And these group of men that are meeting right here in our town are going directly to this pastor at a church there. Now, I have been told that this church is doing uh, helicopter drops to people that have have been stranded and um they are stuck so there's been helicopters that have been going out to those people they've shared a list this morning that was one of the things that was shared now i already have most of my stuff bought lots of formula lots of diapers lots of baby needs lots of female hygiene items um personal care items so we have lots and lots of stuff here um all of this is going to brother david our local men are going straight to this church this church is distributing straight to the people so that was a huge answered prayer for me it's a blessing to know I was going to be dropping this off into the hands of people that I was I had prayed over and prayed over this stuff these things were going to be going to somebody though that I didn't the people we had connections y'all so I was friends with some people that were kind of over this drop, but after that, once it left the bus and station, um, it's going to be passed from person to person that we really didn't know. We just had to trust that it was going to the right place. But I feel absolutely wonderful. Like this was such an answered prayer that I know this man personally. This man knows the, pa the pastor there personally, and they are doing wonderful, wonderful things, um, getting help out to people that really, really need it and people that are stuck. So, good, good, good things happening. I cannot get anything else but a person in my vehicle um, up here and up, up here to help me unload. Some of the older kids are going to go. I have all of them begging. I'm not sure what that's going to look like yet. We may can maneuver some of this stuff around and let all the kids go because they really want to serve and I love to see their heart that they want to do this. It's, it's really a, a beautiful thing and Colby and I do a lot of the stuff that we do. You know, we're showing y'all all of this that we're doing because it is a good thing, 
<clears throat> some of the things that we tell y'all, but some of the things we don't. And I do believe that is some scripture. Um, we don't tell y'all everything that we do for other people because sometimes that's just not, sometimes you don't, sometimes you just don't have to share stuff. But I think this is such a good thing. I had already shared it in my community. Lots of people bring in stuff. I've had multiple people here already bring in stuff. But this, besides a lot of the stuff that we got that y'all saw us get, I've had lots of other people drop off. Huge blessing for sure. But I'm sharing this thing with y'all. We've already made it known to the public. You guys see a lot of what we do. So we wanted to share this with you as well. But outside of that, yes, there are other things that we do for people that only that person knows about because sometimes things like that just don't have to be shared so i hope y'all enjoy watching our journey unfold as we have been blessed not only and want to share those blessings with others but also um those in our community that we've been able to come alongside they've been able to come alongside us and this is going to be a wonderful thing y'all we're very excited my friends that just left were able to get an updated list from the church pastor that has shared immediate needs guys what a an absolute blessing there's two generators that were just dropped off several propane um like stove tops if y'all want me to show you what i'm talking about these were just dropped off extension cords propane bottles another griddle top um more blankets so here's even more blankets and jackets because we've been told one of the things that i mean we're you know we're headed into october the nights up there in the mountains is just going to start getting really cold so we're so very thankful we'll have another vehicle full of things that are immediate needs um we're, we're just so very thankful y'all it is going to be a wonderful thing i cannot wait to introduce y'all to brother david as i mentioned y'all he has been a long time friend family friend um someone that i was actually under for m many many years and his his love for missions has shined through for from the time I was a teenager and I'm almost 40 so he's been doing this for a really long time and his passion to help others and serve in the mission field and spread the gospel is what has always been about so I'm so thankful for that connection there and that they have kicked something off um, different than what I had originally planned but they had kicked something off that was really just an an answered prayer for um, me specifically but our community as well. Okay, y'all, we just got the call that they're ready for us to come. I don't think they have a trailer yet, but we're going to go ahead and start unloading. And um, Brother David mentioned sorting through some stuff. I told him we would love to stay and help do that. So we're headed off to do that right now. And not only are we helping, but I had been praying for these items to go into the right hands. And this post was put out just in the nick of time for me to catch it make those calls and kind of get the information that i needed so i feel confident and very certain taking thousands of dollars worth of items from us and from so many people in our community we just had two generators dropped off this morning by some other friends y'all it has been a huge blessing to watch all of this unfold and knowing that not only are they getting their physical needs met but this has been the most important to me is finding somewhere that was also going to meet spiritual needs and you know these these church people it is just my prayer that they're going to be able to love on um share the gospel scatter those seeds out and it's up to the lord to do the rest but knowing that we've done our part so, so not only are they being able to get their physical needs met but spiritual needs as well very very important so this was just an answered prayer but we're off
we are on the last vehicle coming up y'all to say this is a blessing is just really an understatement everything that you see going on in here is just complete sorting to where there are clothes and jackets over here there's propane tanks generators over here there's baby items over there blankets over there cleaning supplies there are people here that are working really really hard the door just open and <laughs> the floodgates open there are pe other people from the community just constantly coming in dropping things off it has been a huge blessing and i know the people of north carolina and other places are going to be so grateful and so thankful but most importantly for me knowing that this is going into the hands of a church that we know is going to reach out and love these people and meet their physical needs but meet their spiritual needs as well so we made it home have supper in the works which is a good thing eliza did you enjoy today yes so the kids really loved it they were begging to go i didn't know if i was going to be able to fit them in the vehicle but we kind of maneuvered some stuff around and got them in there and they all had a really good time there were several ladies there that you guys seen so when we unloaded everything they had already had some stations going from other people in our community dropping off they'd already had like a blanket station and a hygiene station and a baby station and batteries and, um, lighters extension cords a uh, generator and propane station so i kind of scanned through and showed you the room looked kind of chaotic. It was for a little and then, while. And then uh, we brought all of our stuff in, and then we had to restart over. That's again. right. So then we kind of unpackaged everything, got it into its stations. Once everything was in its stations, then we started boxing things, which um, I, I didn't get the camera out a whole lot, but we would put the same items in one box, write on it what it was, and then we started stacking the boxes. Um, I have some pictures I'll show y'all right now that I can add in so you saw what happened it was a really wonderful day I feel like when we're able to serve others sometimes we get more blessing than they actually get so at the end of the day, we were really blessed. And thank you guys for watching and hanging out with us and seeing kind of what we did. So guys, we appreciate you. Thank you. God bless and happy homesteading, y'all.